What's up YouTube? This is Rick Jean. I'm back with another video. Today I got a box of dimes and a box of nickels. They're already both open because I always check them at the bank to make sure that they're circulated coins. I'm happy about this box here because uh, the last couple weeks I've been getting dimes that are all new issued 2018 P's or D's. So <clears throat> happy about this because I'm able to search a box of dimes. Uh, what I'm looking for is anything older than 1964 is a silver coin, uh, Roosevelt's or Mercury's. Uh, I've never found a barber dime, uh, so let's start trying to talk that in. I'm trying to talk in a barber half dollar. Let's try to talk in a barber dime. Uh, that being said, I'm going to get into this box, and as soon as I get done with that, uh, I'll go into the nickels. But first, we're going to get into this, and as soon as I find something, I'll bring you back in. All right, YouTube, I am back. As you see, dime box done. This is what goes back to the bank. i got to dump that now. Uh, just into the bag it's gonna go in with all my nickels but we all know this is how dime ends up uh, the dimes end up sometimes it's it's kind of slow with the dimes so that being said I'm gonna get into this nickel get, get into these nickels uh, I'm always looking for uh, Buffalo nickels war nickels the war nickels are from 1942 through 45 uh, they have a big mint mark on the back of the uh, on the reverse of the coin. It's above the Monticello building. Uh, when I get these nickels open, I'll show you. So until until uh, I find something, I'll be right back. Our right, YouTube, I'm back. Uh, open this box. I said that, uh, or the box was open. I said I'd show you what I was talking about. Uh, on the war nickels, the mint mark would be up here. There would be a P, a S, or a D, which is Philly, San Francisco, or Denver. So that being said, just in case those of you that didn't know, now you do. So I'm going to get in this box as soon as I find something, I'll be back. And of course, I'm going to go grab my uh, uh, low, mint, um, low mintage list and uh, I always check for the dates that are on my list. And this is the list I used uh, for the <clears throat> coins that are low mintage. These are 11 million or under and these are 21 million or under uh, or between 21 and 11 million obviously. Uh, if they have a dot next to them, like this right here, it means I've found one. I've recently, I just recently found a 39S, uh, but I haven't, I don't have the 39, uh, 38S or D, the uh, the 39D, the 50D. I do have two of the 1950s, but uh, <clears throat> down here I've got all these, several of them, except for the 42D silver and the 44S silver. So uh, I'm still looking for them to complete this list here. So hopefully I get one of them in this box. As soon as I find something, I'll be back. Row number four, YouTube. And I've got a 50s coin here. Now I did pick up this 1955, and as you know, on my list there's a 1955. This is a plane that I'm looking for. I've got two of them already, but it's always nice to find them. Uh, but this came obverse up. i seen the D on the back, or the reverse up, sorry. I seen the D on the back because so I didn't give you a reveal. But what I do have here is a 1950, and you know I'm looking for that 1950D right there. So either way, this is a low mintage coin. It's either the 50 or the 50D. So this is a good find regardless. Let's get it to focus for me one time. It might not want to work with me. Come all the way back here, 1950. And I'm looking for the D. Nope, 1950 plane. But that's no low mintage anyway. Let me see what this book says up here. Uh, the 1950 D is uh, 9.8 million uh, minutes. So uh, still a good find. I'll be back. Quick update, YouTube. I'm 10, 10 rolls in. I got 350 coins uh, plus the 1950 uh, plane up here. I always keep that off to the side. I don't want to get that mixed up. <clears throat> uh, and then a pair of uh, 1949s, but it's not the 49S that I'm looking for. All right, I'll be back on the next 10 rows. Row number 17. I got a 1948 here. Of course, the 48S is a low mintage coin. It's right here on my list. I do have uh, what looks like three, maybe four of those. That little bottom dot is kind of light. Uh, <clears throat> so it's 11 million or, or, or less. Uh, so let's see what this is. 48. 48S. So it's less than 11 million. Let's see what this says up here in this book. 
48s 11.3 so 11.3 uh, million minute that's like my fifth one of those good find nonetheless I'll be back 10 more rolls down YouTube I got a couple of 40 coins out of that plus I got this 1983 Canadian other than that uh, the, uh, the 48s of course other than that nothing else I'll be back with the next 10 10 more rolls down I got another 40s coin and a 50s coin but that's it 10 more rolls I'll be back row number 32 YouTube and we got a couple of dark ones I haven't had very many dark ones some of them uh, been bar dark but you just know that they're dirty I'm thinking that this one here is a copper so I'm gonna pull this up, or uh, sorry, a silver nickel. Pull this up, get a little closer. See if it'll. Nope, the light's not gonna work. Let me see if I can turn it off and see if. Yeah, there you go. See that darkness of it? Pretty sure that that is indeed silver. Yes, it is. 1943s, and that is the mint mark that I was saying in the beginning of the video. Uh, the nickel box, uh, the S right there. So a 1943 S, and uh, that's not one of the ones that I was looking for. Is the 43D. So, <laughs> but uh, silver nonetheless, and I always like finding silver nickels. So uh, that's a good find. I'll be back with the next find or the rest of these ten rows. All right, the next ten down. Uh, we got uh, five more 50 coins. Nothing to really talk about. We got a 1940 S. Again, nothing really to talk. Is that a S? That's a yeah, that's a S. Uh, 1940s. Uh, nothing to talk about. So that that's ten. That's ten down. I'm gonna get the the next ten and then give you a wrap up. All right, YouTube, I'm back into the box. That's the second part of the nickels that's gonna get dumped at the bank. <clears throat> that's my list. And this is what we ended up with. Uh, we ended up with eleven 1940s coins right here or maybe uh, 12 1940s coins and then 13 1950s coins we end up one Canadian of course the 1983 uh, we got these two low mintage uh, under 11 million uh, 1948s and a 1950 plane and then of course the war nickel uh, 1943 s <clears throat> so silver we've got a couple low mintage some oldies and that's just how the box goes uh, i'm good with one silver and a couple uh, low mintage coins <clears throat> so until next time uh, good luck to you i appreciate everybody for stopping by uh and i hope you pro i i <laughs> wish you good luck on all your searches and i hope you profit on all of your uh boxes sorry i'm tongue-tied uh but uh don't forget to like subscribe share and until next time Good luck to you.